Hey everyone, Caffeine Man here, and today we're going over a brand new energy drink on the market, and that energy drink is called Blake Star. And Blake Star is very new to the market, but just because they're new doesn't mean they're afraid to come out with flavors. They actually sent me 10 flavors to taste out. That's right, 10. Hello again everyone, thank you so much for joining me today and if it's your first time here and you want to stay informed on all things caffeine related, feel free to hit the subscribe button, I post new videos every Tuesday night. Also I partnered up with Campus Protein, so if you're looking for some pre-workout supplements or any pre-workout energy drinks, feel free to check out Campus Protein, use coupon code CAFFEINEMAN2 at checkout, save yourself a few bucks. I'll include a link down below. And today, going over a company called Blake Star. I think I already mentioned that, and this company sent me 10 drinks to review, which I know I mentioned, in exchange for an honest review. And that, my friends, is a new record. Previous record was nine energy drinks for a video. Now we got 10. And given that there's 10 energy drinks, I always promote caffeine safety. So for the first time ever, I'm gonna be breaking this video down into a two-part video. In this part, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the company, as well as go over the ingredients. And I'm gonna taste out the first five flavors for you. Then in the next video, which it's only gonna be a couple of days, I don't wanna make you wait that long. But in that video, it'll be similar to a super short bonus video when I try out the last five drinks. Should be a much shorter video, hopefully. Let's get started. Blake Star started just about eight months ago or somewhere around there. So they haven't even actually been out for a year yet, but they're definitely making some good traction. I think one of the reasons is because of the owner, Bobby Blake. Bobby Blake drives this huge truck and trailer around all over Georgia and other places. I mean, he's tailgating at football games, driving to restaurants, driving to convenience stores, and he is constantly passing out his energy drinks to everybody so that he can get his product into people's hands. And I mean, it's such an old school way of marketing, but you know, if it works, it works. Most people, they're just on Instagram and they're like, hey, we're giving out a free case of drinks. The way you enter the contest is you tell five friends about us, you get them to like our page, and then we'll choose somebody. And yeah, that's a good way to get likes and get people to follow you. But if you're only giving away one case or even just a couple of cases, you're not getting your drinks into people's hands. So you may have thousands of followers, but how many of those followers are gonna purchase your product? This way, Bobby Blake handing out thousands of drinks, thousands of people, He's probably more than, probably tens of thousands, all the places he goes to. I mean, a football game, tailgate, but whatever the case, he has given out tons of drinks, mostly in Georgia. But as he started to grow, he is actually online now. And I believe he's doing a beginning of the year giveaway. So hopefully that hasn't ended yet. We are still kind of in the beginning of the year. So check him out either on Facebook or Instagram to find out more about those details where you might be able to get some free drinks. So he's now growing online as well as in person. So good luck to Bobby Blake promoting his brand. He's also going with social media influences such as myself to give him some more exposure. So he's working hard. And it's probably because he's using his own product because he believes his product helps you do what others can't. But that being said, who's Bobby Blake? I mean, it sounded like a famous name to me. So I did what I always do. And I went to Google to find out more about Bobby Blake because I didn't find out too much about him on the website. So I Googled it and and I got I got to tell you don't don't google Bobby Blake well you can if you want but I'll tell you what I found I found someone who wasn't Bobby Blake because I saw Bobby Blake's picture on Blake Star website but but when I googled Bobby Blake I found I found a porn star he's a retired porn star now but it it definitely wasn't the same Bobby Blake so I needed to scroll through a few pages to get off the page I mean to get out of all the porn recommendations. And then I found I found a whole bunch of obituaries for Bobby Blake, so I, I knew that wasn't him. And then I found a bunch of actors who were Bobby Blake and Robert Blake, none of which were him either. So, so I basically, I kinda, after doing a lot of research, I kinda just gave up. So who is Bobby Blake? He is, look at, look at this one. He is a pretty ripped guy, I mean he's pretty big, who at 50 years old decided he wanted to start his own energy drink to help people accomplish great things. And so he did. 
And that's just one of his few slogans. He wants to help people accomplish great things. And the purpose behind Blake Star is to help you do what others can't by giving you the energy you need to complete tasks large and small. And to a certain extent, I think that that is fairly genius. A lot of these energy drink companies, they're going with motocross sports. They're doing a lot of the extreme sports. And they're getting their sponsorships in lots of different places. But who actually promotes getting stuff done? I mean, even now, entering into this era of pre-workout drinks, hitting the market really hard, yeah, those pre workouts help you get your workout done. But who's really promoting getting stuff done in your daily life? I mean, I know that's what I need it for. I need to accomplish stuff at work. I need to accomplish stuff at home. I need to accomplish things on YouTube. And whenever I need motivation, I know that energy drinks give me some motivation. Therefore, it looks like he's trying to tap into a market that no one else is really tapping into. You got people tapping into the pre-workout, you got people tapping into gaming community, but what about those people like me, and I'm sure like a lot of you, you use them for work, you use them for home, you got a bunch of kids that you can't keep up with unless you have an energy drink? There are so many things that you can get accomplished, and I'm sure a lot of you use these drinks for the same reason, to accomplish stuff, and that's what he's tapping into. So I like the marketing, Bobby. Not, not like he can hear me. I know you can't hear him. Uh, he, he might watch the video. Bobby, you let, leave me a comment down below. I bet he's watching. He's a nice guy. So let's take a look at some of these ingredients to help you accomplish more. Their main go-tos when they're advertising are B vitamins, electrolytes, low calories, no sugar. And that's a big one right there. No sugar makes it a healthier option, and a lot of people like the healthier options in today's day and age. So let's take a look at the picture here. You got yourselves 10 calories. The sodium ranges from 190 to 200 milligrams, depending on the flavor. Carbs vary between two and three carbs, so not many carbs at all. It could still be relatively keto-friendly, depending on what your carbs count is. So it's definitely not a lot of carbs. It's very minimal. It's got zero sugar. It's got zero fat. It's got zero protein. All your typical zeros. As for the B vitamins, they do give you a bunch of them. They didn't really short you on any of the B vitamins. I mean, you got a little bit of B2 in there. You got 20% of your daily value, which is your riboflavin. You're going to get 100% of your daily value of B3, which is your niacin. You're also going to get 100% of your B6 and your B12 and your B5, which is the panthenic acid. And just for the heck of it, why not toss in 2% of your daily value of magnesium and potassium? Can't hurt. And not only that, they also tossed in 10% of your daily value of choline, which is 55 milligrams. Now, choline is something that I've rarely mentioned in some of my videos, and that's mostly because only a couple of energy drinks have had it as of recently. I just did a video on Merica, which has choline in it. My Hilo gummies had choline in it, and a couple other things. But not a lot of drinks are using choline just yet, but some companies are catching on and using it more. Choline is supposed to help you with mental energy, memory, and focus. So I like it. It's a great ingredient to have in an energy drink if you're trying to help with focus and especially if you want to accomplish great things you need to be focused unfortunately the amount that's in here really isn't going to do too much for you a healthy dose of choline is 425 milligrams for women and 550 milligrams a day for men with only 55 milligrams of choline you're not really getting that dose to give you the max effect but if you're someone who eats foods like cod salmon, cauliflower, and broccoli, those are also additional sources of choline, so that 55 might help out those other ones. Stacking effect, but on its own, might not do too much for you. It also has a lot of your standard energy drink ingredients, so I'm not gonna go over those. Things like taurine, it uses sucralose as its sweetener. Some of the other healthy ingredients that I like to mention are the guarana seed extract and the panax ginseng root extract, both healthy ingredients to help you out with focus, as well as a natural caffeine. And these drinks have more than the standard amount of caffeine because this is a 12 ounce can so it doesn't have 120 milligrams of caffeine it bumped it up a little bit to 140 milligrams of caffeine so it's got more than your regular standard energy drinks for 12 ounces. Most standard energy drinks have around 10 milligrams per ounce so with this drink you're getting about 12 milligrams per ounce. A little extra boost. So let's taste them out. Just need to go into my campus protein fridge. Did you guys hear that they just came out with their newest flavor of fuel? It is fruit by the flavored, which I heard is an amazing flavor, and it just came out yesterday. And it's a limited time only, and from what I heard word on the street, <laughs> because I don't review powders on my channel, but word on the street is that this is their best flavor by far. So if you're interested in the powders, definitely check it out. Use my coupon code CAFFEINEMAN2 to help you save some money. And the tubs themselves are actually cheaper than the other companies selling similar products. I'll include a link down below. 
So out of 10 of them, we're trying out five today. What's gonna be the first one? The first one I'm actually gonna go with is the classic. Now, most of you who watch my channel probably already know that when I do the taste test of multiple drinks, I usually like to try and start with the ones I don't think I'm gonna like, and then I try and finish off with the flavor I hope's the best flavor. <laughs> it's usually based on personal preference, but not always. As for this one, I heard that this one's actually really good, so I'm not gonna save it to the end. It's the classic, it's their original flavor, so why not just start out with the original? Taste it out. All right. Got some colors here. Fan of the colors. I know some people don't like the artificial coloring and all, but you know what? They, they have a, they're not that bad for you. It's just a little bit of artificial coloring. Yeah, it's, it's almost your standard energy drink color. It's a little bit lighter. Did I hold it up already for you guys? There you go. Let's taste that out. Oh, wow. <laughs> for my reaction, you can tell, oh, wow, I kind of like it. It's pretty good. It's got its own standard energy drink flavor, so they're really trying to market themselves as Blake Star, similar to Rockstar having its own flavor, Monster having its own flavor, Red Bull having its own flavor. Blake Star is getting its own energy drink flavor to help them stand out from the other companies. Is it as good as all those other ones? Take another sip. Well, let's start out with it being lightly carbonated. I definitely like that it's lightly carbonated. It actually says it on the can as well, lightly carbonated. So I guess you could say I'm kind of cheating because I already knew it was lightly carbonated. But when I drank it, I knew they weren't lying to me because, you know, some people like to lie not nice liars out there. But when you drink it, it's definitely got a light feel to it. I like the lightly carbonated energy drinks. No burping involved. It's got itself a medium sweetness to it. And I think they actually did a really good job with the sweetness on here because it is reminiscent of a similar to like a Red Bull. It doesn't have that watermelon -y flavor, but you're getting that typical, I don't want to say generic energy drink flavor because sometimes people say generic as a bad term, but it definitely has an energy drink flavor to it that stands out on its own. Actually reminds me a little bit of like the standard flavor of Venom, but that one's got a lot of sugar in it. Oh, that's what I was going to mention. The sweetness on here, they actually got a medium sweetness on here, but it tastes like a sugar energy drink even though there's no sugar in it. You don't really get that sucralose flavor out of it. You're not getting any sucralose aftertaste. You get a little bit, a little bit of an energy drink aftertaste, which is sometimes happens with the generic brands, but I'm definitely not considering this a generic. It's actually got a pretty good flavor. So I went over the light carbonation. I went over the medium flavor. I went over the medium sweetness. So let's go ahead, put this on the caffeine man rating chart because I got a whole bunch to go over. I think it did a great job branding itself with its own original flavor. I'm gonna give this one 8.6. Next up, we're gonna be going with the pink lemonade. As usual, I'm always honest with you guys, and if you don't know it, I would never in a million years ever pick up a pink lemonade flavor from any place, because I don't like lemonade, and that's regular lemonade, and I'm not really a big fan of pink lemonade either. That being said, I have had a lot of different lemonades because I was usually forced to. You go to one of those parties in the summer and all they have is lemonade, you're looking for the bottled water and all they have is tap water, you never know what you're gonna get from the tap water, depending on the city you live in. So you drink the lemonade. And then you always have those people that say, oh, you don't like lemonade, you should try this one, and I try that one, and I don't really like it. But anyway, the point being, I do know what pink lemonade tastes like, so I'm not gonna let my bias affect my rating. I'm just wasting my time telling you I don't like pink lemonade. Let's, let's taste it out. Got ourselves a pink color here. Yeah, it definitely tastes like a pink lemonade. It's definitely got that citrusy lemonade flavor. But if I had a choice between lemonade and pink lemonade, I'd get the pink lemonade because they do add a little more flavor to it. And I don't know what that flavor is. I don't know if it's strawberry or cherry or whatever. It's pink, so it's it's gotta be something red. I don't think they make pink lemons. I'm not even looking that up. I know they don't make pink lemons. But the pink lemonade always has a little bit of a different flavor to it. And I like the pink lemonade better than the regular lemonade. And this has actually got a de decent pink lemonade flavor. If I were to drink this in a blind taste test, I'd say, hey, that that's pink lemonade. And basically, it tastes like a lightly carbonated pink lemonade. It doesn't have any bad aftertaste. It's got, it's got that citrusy lemonade aftertaste. I mean, whenever you drink lemonade, you're gonna have that lemonade aftertaste. But there's no bad aftertaste. And the sweetness on here, it's actually a medium to low sweetness because that citrus is cutting into the sweetness. But I definitely, I can't tell that these are sugar-free drinks. They taste like, like 
they still like they're lightly sweetened to give it a medium sweetness but they're not trying to be like a sweetness powerhouse they're not like we don't use sugar but you're gonna taste this sweet flavor like some of the energy drink companies do they're really sweet which i don't really mind but i am shocked by a company that uses sucralose no sugar and it doesn't taste diet well, let's put it on the caffeine man rating chart well they did a good job with their original flavor but i gotta say the pink lemonade even though i don't like pink lemonade i think it's good I think they did a great job. I'm actually gonna rate this higher than their original. Not because I like the flavor better, but because I think that really packs a punch of flavor. It's a really good pink lemonade, and I'm basing it on that and its flavor. So this, getting an 8.8. .8. You like yourselves a pink lemonade, you get yourselves this. Might be good with a little bit of vodka too. I know I have a couple of people that watch my channel that always say, ooh, that would probably be good with vodka. I don't drink, so I don't know, and I don't promote it either. I will never do a review on Four Loco. I'm sorry, I don't agree with alcohol and energy drinks, but if it's something that you choose to do, does pink lemonade go with alcohol? I think people who drink alcohol say everything goes out. But um, I actually think I was looking at their site. They don't advertise it on their site, I don't think, but I think I saw some Facebook posts and they do say that these do complement alcoholic beverages as well. So if that's something that you're into, a lot of these flavors tend to lend themselves to that. But Caffeine Man doesn't recommend it for lots of reasons that I plan on doing a video about and I don't want to touch base on it right now. Moving on. Next up, I know this might be a surprise for some of you when you hear me say it, but this is the pineapple coconut. Why would people be surprised? Because if you watch my channel, you know that my favorite energy drink is coconut Red Bull. And not a lot of other companies have really come out with a coconut flavor yet. So I'm curious how this one is, but I really think the pineapple flavor is gonna be a bit stronger because pineapple is a strong flavor. Let's taste it out. I pour a little more just to get the color. Don't drink it all. A lot to go. There we go. It's got a bit pretty much the that's pretty much pineapple color there. And it's one of those drinks. I always hold it there for a second. I, I might edit out how long I hold it there. I hold it there for a few seconds just to see if I can get the smell from it. Sometimes I'll I'll ooh. Sometimes I'll smell it, you can tell it's pretty strong, but holding it like this, I, if I can smell it, then I know it's gonna have a pretty strong flavor. And then I brought it to my nose and smelled it. It's a strong smell. Let's taste it out. Strong. Wow. Should have kept this one towards the end too, because this is good. It's got a nice solid pineapple flavor to it, but it's not overly citrusy like some of those flavors are, like oranges and lemons and, and lemonades and stuff. Those are like really citrusy. Pineapple can have a lot of citrus in it as well, but this is kind of a light citrus. And I think that the sweetness helps a bit as well. I like to have a sweet pineapple. I like a lot of sweet fruits. So that sweetness in there is probably like a medium sweetness. Citrus is cutting into a little bit, but I think that sweetness is pulling out some of that citrus. And then you're hit by that coconut flavor as well, which is a fairly good coconut. I'm gonna sip it again, try and get you guys some percentages. You definitely get this pineapple when you first sip it and you get the smell as well, but you also get that coconut smell because coconut has a pretty fragrant smell to it. I would actually give this, when you first sip it, like a 60% pineapple and a 40% coconut, but then as you drink it a little bit more, those two flavors are kind of fighting with each other and it's a pretty good fight because pineapple flavor is pretty good, coconut, if you like coconut, is pretty good, and pineapple coconut really mixes those two flavors well together. Definitely a fan of it, definitely liking it, definitely gonna put it on the caffeine man rating chart definitely giving it a nine boom blake star showing me some good flavors first i hope i didn't get them in the wrong order because i always pride myself on finishing with the best ones last by the way i've been slacking off on saying this in some of my videos this is not a sponsored video normally if i say they gave me the drinks in exchange for an honest review that means it's not a sponsored video. But I'm definitely pointing it out because people think I'm sometimes biased. Like, oh, he's probably getting paid to say that. No, I'm not getting paid. I got these drinks in exchange for an honest review. If you're new to my channel, I tell people, I'm always gonna be honest with you. If I don't like an energy drink, I'll tell you. Zevia. oof. Moving on. Next up, we're going with the orange flavor. No surprise there, it's orange but it's a nice color. I'm not gonna complain. Those clear colors 
It's just weird drinking something clear and then it tastes like something. If you're drinking something orange, you want it to look orange. Let's taste it out. Getting a little bit of orange in there. See, now you, get, now you guys know my secret. It's not really a secret. Hmm. They were getting my hopes up with those first few flavors. The orange, it's an okay orange. I mean, it's pretty good. I've definitely had a lot of oranges that are better. Definitely had oranges that had more of a punch to them. This one's reminding me kind of like a generic kind of orange flavor. And actually, it's much more reminiscent of like an orange soda. So if you like orange soda, you might like something like this. Like this is kind of like, like a crush energy drink. But yeah, I mean, you can still definitely tell that it's orange flavored. And uh, at first I wasn't getting too much citrus, but I'm getting a little bit of citrus citrus aftertaste from there. It's an orange citrus aftertaste, so it's not a bad aftertaste. And that medium sweetness, once again, is being pulled back a little bit by the citrus. But overall, it still, it does its job. It lets you know that it's orange. So where's it gonna be going? On the Caffeine Man rating chart. It did its job as an orange, but I'm not really that big of a fan of it. I like a little bit of a sweeter orange, maybe a little more orange punch to it, as opposed to the generic orange flavor. I'm gonna give this one 7.9. Still a good rating. It's not up there with the big boys, but it's definitely not bad. I've had some oranges that are way below the sevens. Moving on. All right, moving on. This is going to be my fifth and final one for the day. And following up orange, what follows orange? Grapes. Ooh, that is a dark purple there. Here we go. Fifth and final one for the day. Let's go out strong. Can kind of smell it a little bit from here. So oranges and the grapes tend to be pretty strong. All right, it's got a pretty good grape flavor. I've done a lot of different grapes. Like I said, orange and grape, fairly common flavors for energy drinks and common flavors in general for the sodas and such. The sweetness is getting you know, like a medium to medium high sweetness. Definitely not getting much of a citrus flavor or anything like the other ones, because grape's not really too citrusy. And you're also getting kind of a medium to slightly medium high flavor for the grape. And the grape flavor is definitely not like a grape juice, because some of them go the route of grape juice. Some of them go more grape soda. But this is reminiscent, similar to the orange, this is reminiscent to kind of like a grape soda. So if you like grape soda, this is sort of your standard grape soda. I think the grape flavor is a little bit stronger than what the orange was. So when we're going to the Caffeine Man rating chart, gonna rate this one 8.1. I think they did a good job with a grape flavor. You can tell it's grape. It's sugar-free and overall impressed with Blake Star. And that is all that I have time for today. But like I said, stay tuned in a couple of days, not too long from now. I'll be trying out the remaining five. I really have a good feeling about it because if these five were my lowest choices and they're ranking eight and up, one of them at nine, I'm hoping for the same or better results with the last five. When it all comes down to it, I do promote caffeine safety on my video. I know I do a lot of energy drink reviews, but I do have some caffeine safety videos as well. And the reason I'm breaking this up into two parts is caffeine content. These cups that I use, these Trinet cups, they're nine ounce cups, and I usually fill them up halfway, as you've seen. So it's right around four ounces. So when I do a video and I'm drinking six energy drinks, that is 24 ounces and the 16 ounce can has 200 milligrams in it. So that means in that video, I had 300 milligrams in less than an hour, which is okay because the pre-workout drinks, they're at 300. And when I did my Master Java video, that was seven drinks, but those are around 160 milligrams, which means I only had a total with seven drinks of 240 milligrams. So what I'm getting at is that if I did all 10 of these drinks, there's 140 milligrams in a 12 ounce can. That's 11.6, let's round it to 12. 12 milligrams of caffeine per ounce. So simple math, four ounces times 10 drinks is 40 ounces times 11.6, that's 466 milligrams of caffeine, which which for me, it's fine. I've gone up to 500, 600 and higher at times, but that's throughout the day. 466 in 45 minute time span, not something I recommend doing, therefore I'm not gonna making two videos. Stay safe with your caffeine intake, people. Therefore, part two's coming up shortly, and until then, have yourselves a great day. 
or night. I mean, you got a little bit of B2 in there. You got 20% of your daily value, which is your riboflavin, which is your riboflavin. Riboflavin? Riboflavin? I should look it up. I think it's riboflavin. I think I've been saying riboflavin the whole time. Going with riboflavin. Keep it going. Use them for work, use them for home. You got a bunch of kids that you can't keep up with unless you have an energy drink. There are so many things that you can get accomplished. In simple math, four ounces times 10 drinks is 400. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. Oh, jeez. 